what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? After Viacom severed ties with Nick Cannon over what they deemed to be anti-Semitic remarks, Charlemagne the God chimed in and offered a deeper opinion as to why he believed Nick was fired. Well, as Nick Cannon said, you can't really fire a boss, but you can cut ties. So let's unpack this suitcase. The power. It is a wide known fact that the Jews control most of the entertainment and media industry, period. It's not even a question, it's not even close. So that's a lot of power. Let's switch roles and put somebody else in the hot seat. And let's say somebody says something that was derogatory toward black people and they journalized black people. That person would be in hot water, right? See, that's what happened in Nick's situation. I do believe Nick would have been okay had he singled out certain Jewish people and said, this person is like this, this person is like this, this guy's evil. But Nick generalized saying that Jews and whites are evil, less than, closer to animals, and savages. Which I don't believe that. I don't believe that all white people, all Jewish people are this or that or whatever. Just like I don't believe that all black people fit one category. There are those who have problems with us. So if they see one or two of us doing something, four or five of us, 10, 11, 12, 100, 1,000, whatever the number is, doing something crazy, acting a fool, and they make a generalization, we're going to be offended by that. So this is what I'm saying. This is why I believe that the mistake was made, making the generalization. And here's the deal, fam. I know it's hard for a lot of us to do, but when you offend an entire group, entire ethnicity, not, not just certain people who, who behave in a certain way, a particular people that all of them act exactly the same way. I'm talking about when you make these sweeping generalizations, you're going to put yourself in a bind. Now, if you don't give a damn, just go, go for it. If you, if you just don't care, go for it. But I knew when Nick made that statement, I knew that he was going to follow up with an apology. This is why before I say something, I think about what I'm going to say. And once I let it go, I let it go. And that's what it is. I ain't backing up. I ain't backing down. But when you think about power, imagine if black people had the power that Jew, Jewish people have in the media and somebody was saying something about dispar something disparaging about black people, including the black people, like the, 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 the Sambos and Mammies that be on TV and stuff saying things about black folks, it would not happen because they would get dealt with immediately. So ultimately, because the Jews have the power is the reason why Nick was fired. Because if they did not have the power, they'd be like black folks and still protesting and trying to boycott. Trying to negotiate and, and you still got it. Because there's certain people that's still on the air right now, the Charles Barkley's and Stephen A's, they have, and they have uh, disparaged the black community many times, the Candace Owens, they have disparaged the black community many times. They have made these sweeping generalizations many times. And they're still employed. They're still making millions of dollars because they are out there doing masses bidding. You see what I'm saying? But if, and that is because black people don't stroke their checks. 
So, you know, and that, that goes for anybody. The bottom line is that it don't really matter how you feel. You got to get out of your feelings. That clip that Nick, Nick played of him and Professor Griff having that conversation where those statements were revealed, that's, that came a whole year ago. That clip was a whole year old. Really? It should have it should have never been put out. It should have never been even articulated in that manner. Being in the position that Nick is in. You, do you understand what I'm saying, fam? So, you know, and look, I can relate to this because I went through some things like this myself early on in my career. You know? It remind me of these things that I did early on it was like one of those when keeping it real goes wrong. You dig what I'm saying? It is very possible to be woke and calculative, to be woke and balanced. You know, to be woke and stand on something but still be considerate of others. You understand what I'm saying? Because this, this game is chess and it ain't checkers at all. A lot of people that want Nick to just be out there saying, yeah, you know, I said it, I mean, I'm here to represent it, da, 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 da. Well, they ain't got what Nick got to lose. And Nick's situation is bigger than his. This man got several artists signed to his label and these people got families to feed too. Don't get it twisted what I'm saying, because some of y'all, you know, y'all just one way and y'all hear one thing and y'all just lose it. Oh man, you getting soft. Oh man. <laughs> it's hard to explain things to people who think like that. It's very hard to explain things to them. But I can tell you, it is very possible to move around in this game and get what you want out of the game. Use those benefits and resources that you got to go out there and help your people. White folks do it all the time. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.